Hi, I'm Sean, a mechanical engineer from Cornell University in Ithaca, New York, and this is Cycle, a pocketable synth plus sequencer combo built using an Arduino Nano. When brainstorming ideas for this competition, I knew I wanted to build a synthesizer, but I ran into a large problem. On the list of available parts, there were no components that would allow me to display data at all. However, after a bit of creative thinking, I realized that a servo could possibly show information with its angle of rotation displaying the current time within the musical phrase. So, this servo became the design cornerstone of the synth, hence the name Cycle. Regarding its physical construction, the box was printed using a wood PLA filament, while the top panel was laser cut. All the electronics inside were hand wired and soldered and epoxied to the container. Now on to how to use the synth. First, we can dial the pitch in using the pitch selection button and potentiometer. And after hitting play, using the record button, let's record it to the track. As the note is now saved to the tape, it will play back on every subsequent rotation. We can now choose a different note and layer this melody up. If we are unhappy with how the track sounds at a certain point, we can also delete notes by holding down the delete button. Over here, we have a knob that controls tempo, which adjusts the speed of the track and therefore also changes the length of the loop. There is also a volume potentiometer, wired in series with the speaker. Now, these two toggles introduce two new features, both of which have to do with quantization, as seen by this icon of a changed waveform. This quantizes the rhythm of the song, causing all notes to snap to their nearest 16th subdivision, while this quantizes the pitch, changing each note to its nearest neighbor on a C major scale. That covers all the buttons on the synth. Overall, I'm very happy with the project I made, from its clean design to its surprisingly capable and enjoyable workflow. I'll end this video off with a quick jam sesh demonstrating the synth.